new workshop renovation part 15 recorded in my new shop still a bit echoey but that will change last time we took care of some of the loose ends like networking installation and getting the storage room back into shape now it's time to get fresh air into the workshops since none of the rooms has any windows it's necessary to install a central ventilation system and it was actually the first purchase we made after signing the contract for the rent. And you might even have spotted the big box in the background in some of the past videos. So time to open it. I'm so helpful. We bought a unit from Reventon with 800 cubic meters capacity, which is a bit more than we needed, but we got a very good deal on it. And it's got everything we needed. Most importantly, a heat exchanger. So the warm air in the winter stays mostly warm and inside and hot air in the summer stays mostly outside. Smart control. Yeah. Ah. Mm. So let's fire it up. The only way to test the airflow is this. The machine will hang up there in the corner and we need two big holes that our neighbor could drill for us. Next, marking and drilling the holes for the threaded rod ceiling anchors, for which we used steel ones that are actually required. In case of a fire, plastic ones could melt and the machine would drop down. Doesn't happen with the steel ones. Our other neighbors then helped us hanging it up. The machine is not too heavy, about 75 kilos, but it was good to have four people for this. Looks like the whole alignment is spot on. The outside pipes will be cold and need to be insulated. The holes are about 5 cm oversized and with the insulation it's a perfectly tight fit. We fixed them in place with some expanding foam from the outside while trying to also get some foam between the wall and insulation. Cut off the excess and mount the end pieces. Then we brought in all the pipes to hook up the workshops. We have 250 mm and 200 mm pipes. First of all, a little bit of nonsense. We have ja gerade Fasching, gell? <laughs> ich noch kein Kostüm. <laughs> A laser high up showed us the upper installation height, but we also double checked that all wiring is above that. The biggest problem was where to begin, which then was the first hole into Stefan's studio. To make that nice and accurate, I made a router template. First removing most of it with the jigsaw, then the insulation.
The template screws against the wall and then a flush trim router bit. Perfect. And I can also drill the center hole for the other side. Then the same again and the holes are perfectly in line. We also put some foam rubber around the holes to insulate against vibrations from the pipes, assemble the first section on the floor and put it up. Making all the holes first seemed like a good idea, so I continued with the next one into Robin's shop. And then the ones into mine. Installing the pipes is pretty easy. They just slide together and we fix them to the OSB walls with big pipe clamps. Cutting the pipes to length was also straightforward with the angle grinder and deburring the sharp edges worked great with the mini belt sander. It's also a really good light show. Unfortunately, there's one spot where some heating pipes cross the ducting. A simple problem for a 3D printer. And it looks a little bit like pants, so just for the fun of it, we gave it a thong. The question is, who sponsored the thong? Robin? Stefan? Or me? Take your guess in the comments. Whoever it was, it's pretty cool and definitely unique. The rest of the installation was pretty easy, so just enjoy the clips. Finally, we screwed everything together, grounded the ducts, and it's done. Let's switch it on. Of course, we also had to do a smoke test. And that's our ventilation system pretty much finished. The upper pipe is bad air, the lower pipe is fresh air. Here bad air branches off into Stefan's shop. Both continue around the corner here. Right here fresh air branches off into Stefan's shop. Bad air branches here. This way it continues into my shop and to whatever future extension maybe. Around the corner Bad air connects to Robin's shop and the fresh air goes up here and branches off here into Robin's and my shop. If we look into Stefan's shop, this is his fresh air outlet and here is his bad air inlet and like this the air will kind of circulate across the room into the outlet. In Robin's shop, fresh air comes out this pipe, bad air is all this. He connected a lot of stuff already like his welding arm and um, another arm or pipe for soldering and this as a general intake for bad air. And this arrangement in general also kind of circulates the air across the room. And then in my shop, 
Bad air intake is here. Fresh air is here, but I will still pipe it all the way back. So I will also circulate it across the shop. Since it can get dusty in my shop, I also installed another filter on my intake. So the bigger filter in the machine stays cleaner. It was used and got a new filter, of course. That was the last big job for the shop in general. We are very happy with it. The air quality is a lot better. Next time I think I can work on my new tool arrangement, bring stuff in and set the shop up.